I mean, in the uh, wellness industry, so many people are throwing this word or, oh, I have a leaky gut, doc, I have a leaky gut. So leaky gut is not a medical diagnosis, first of all. So leaky gut is more like a concept. So our gut lining, you know, imagine like a, um, like a strainer with like all the holes. So the gut lining is porous like that. This is how it's supposed to uh, transport, the digest, um, move around those uh, uh, small food particles. Leaky gut mean with the inflammation in the gut from all the factors, you know, which I'm going to talk about, those holes, those pores, they get a little bigger, right? So that's why it's called leaky gut, right? So your gut health can be impacted at so many different levels. It's not very straightforward. It can be issue of the gut lining, mucosal lining, your microbiome health, microbiome as in like all the bacteria, viruses, fungi in your gut, the good and bad, the relative abundance of that, you know, how well your pancreatic enzymes, your liver, gallbladder, your stomach, your digestive juices, uh, your uh, immune cells, your immunoglobulin health. It goes into many different layers, right? Many, many different layers. But the important point is guys, when there's autoimmunity, take your gut health very, very seriously. It might not be optimal. There's a very high chance, you know, the gut health is not optimal. So you can always work around that. Many people, they don't understand, they don't know. They feel, oh, I don't have any gut issues, but no. Autoimmunity, gut health, because the thing is 70 to 80% of your immune system sits in your gut. And that's where the education, that's where the training of those immune cells is happening. If those centers are not okay, if like the cops training center is not educating those cops properly, you cannot expect them to behave when they go out of the training well, right? So we'll continue that further, but gut health is very, very important. See you later.